Hi, in this demo I'm going to give you a little taste of three Firefox note-taking tools and those would be Scrapbook, Google Notebook, and Evernote. The first I'm going to show you is Scrapbook and I'm going to do a Google search here as a sort of target for something we might want to take notes on and the first thing that scrapbook will do is allow you to simply grab the entire page we click on capture page here and we get a little confirmation box down here now if we close the page and open the scrapbook sidebar we can see the page that we've captured if we click on it we can see it and you'll note from the a URL entry up here. This is a local copy. It's a file. We don't have to be online to see this and if the page should go away it'll still be there. But it still functions as a web page. These links are live. We can click on it to see something else and there we are. Now another thing we can do, let's run the the query again, is that we can mark up the page prior to capturing it. So if we click here and say edit before capture we can scroll down and say okay I like this one in particular. We can highlight it and we can also add a little sticky note to it. Be sure to save the note when you're finished or you'll have trouble down the line. So we'll save that sticky note. We can move it around and then click on the little save button down here to save the changes and we can make all sorts of choices but we'll just take the default for now. And here's the new annotated capture. I'd like to show it to you but unfortunately I've been having problems with it. I don't know if it's something with this page or if it's a bug in scrapbook but most of the time this works just fine. Okay next we'll try Google Notebook and let's go to the page again and okay Google Notebook works by itself but we have this Firefox add-in for convenience let's select something that uh, we think looks good uh, open the notebook and just click clip and then the clipping uh, goes down here um, we can also open this to a separate page, full size. We can move these things around. Let's collapse it again. Uh, let's go to this link and uh, close it and we can find something else to clip. My uh, highlight working properly here. Okay, close enough. Click and clip and now we have another entry and if we go to full size uh, there can be shown in compact or uh, open form and if you click on it it just takes you uh, to the web page that you clipped it from. And This time we'll look at Evernote which is fairly similar. I've installed the little icon up here and if I click on it, uh, since I haven't selected anything, it gives you, me a warning and asks me if I want to capture the entire page. I'll say no. So let's go ahead and, and highlight something. Click on the capture and we get a little uh, announcement down here and we've got it. We can, uh, we can go log in to our Evernote account to see it, but there's also a desktop client for Windows, and let me open that up right now. And uh, there's our entry. This link is live. We actually control, okay, there we go. We've opened the page here. And um, one other thing about Evernote is that it's not just for the web. We can open up a um, clipping panel and we can 
do a screen capture or uh, clip selections from any application in Windows and it will show up in the same way. So uh, that's a little sample of the free tools. Again, their scrapbook, which works strictly locally in Firefox. And then there's Google Notebook and Evernote, which work with online accounts, which you can access anywhere. Hope you found these useful, and I hope to have detailed uh, tutorials for each of these soon if you're interested. Thanks for watching.